Now we turn to the world of poetry. Last month, Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds appointed a University of Northern Iowa professor as just the fifth poet laureate in the state's history. Earlier, we sat down with him to find out how he's using this honor to inspire a love for poetry in others. We're so excited to be joined by Vince Gotera right now. Vince, thank you so much for being here. Why don't we start by having you explain what Iowa's poet laureate is? What's this job? Yes, uh, thanks, Shelby. Um, the Poet Laureate is, uh, that's a state uh, position, an honorary position um, for a poet to promote poetry across the state. And uh, I am the fifth Poet Laureate, and the previous one was Deb Marquardt, who lives in Ames, and um, I live in Waterloo. And um, the Poet Laureate... Uh, goes around the state and uh, gives poetry readings and hosts programs involving poetry and introduces other poets uh, to, you know, to a statewide audience and also gives poetry workshops uh, to, you know, anyone who would like to learn how to, how to write uh, poetry and even how to publish it. I was curious, did you have to apply for this? Were you nominated or was it kind of a surprise when you were appointed? How did that work? It was a surprise. I was nominated and didn't know about it until uh, I became a finalist. And the the, the state uh, government uh, got a hold of me and said, you know, are you interested in, con in continuing as a finalist? And I said, yes. And then uh, there's a, a board of... Uh, of citizens, that's how they 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 talk about it. A board of citizens that decides um, and and to um, forward uh, three finalists to the to the governor, and then she chose me. Wow, I can only imagine what you were feeling in that moment. What was that like for you? Oh, it was very exciting. I'm I'm really glad to be able to do it. I'm I'm originally from San Francisco, California, and. Uh, but I've lived in uh, in Iowa for uh, almost 30 years at this point, and uh, I'm so glad uh, to to be welcomed uh, all along to have been welcomed by by Iowa. Wow! Talk to me about your love for poetry. Has this been a lifelong journey for you? I wrote my first poem when I was six years old. Uh, I remember being on a ferry boat with my dad and kind of noticing that the sun, you know, was so bright above. And uh, and then when we went, we went home, I uh, I wrote a little poem. Uh, I still remember that it was uh, in four line stanzas, you know, rhyming. And uh, and I also got a little taste of my of publication because my mom got it published in the school newsletter. You know, I I was probably in first grade. I don't. I was like six. You know, and uh, so that started, uh, you know, a, a lifelong uh, a love of poetry. And now in this new position, you get to share and promote that love with people all across the state. So I wanted to ask you, you know, someone is curious about poetry. They're maybe a beginner or someone that's loved it for a long time. What are some of your recommendations for well, poetry? It just so happens that, that I had a poem come out yesterday on a website called Silver Birch Press. Uh, it's on silverbirchpress.com. And they um, uh, do series uh, where uh, people send in poems having to do with a particular topic. And at the moment, uh, the, the topic is all about my mother. And so I wrote a poem um, about my mom. And, uh, and uh, they, had, they have had other, other uh, uh, topics like my first job or the most recent one before the mom one was um, uh, having to do with spices, you know, people's favorite spices. So that's a really accessible and fun uh, website, silverbirchpress.com, that I think uh, people who write poetry or people who are just wanting to, to you know, uh, get a little taste of it uh, would, would love, love the poems that, that uh, you find there. And we do have a link to the website Vince just mentioned, as well as more in his story up on our website right now. Just click on the As Seen on TV tab.